Now, here's one thing I want to talk about. Uh, there are several um, conditions of inelastic collision and elastic collisions. We have, first of all, we have perfectly elastic collision. Uh, we only have uh, perfectly elastic collision. We don't have some. We have. We don't have things like semi perfect. Uh, we don't have a semi perfect elastic collision. We don't have something like this. Yeah, we don't have things like this. Uh, elastic means must be perfect. Uh, we don't have semi perfect elastic collision. No, elastic collision is perfect. Perfectly elastic collision. Okay, what is perfectly elastic collision? Okay, uh, per this perfectly elastic collision is the thing which we have learned before. Elastic collisions. Uh, like we learned be in the before lesson before. Uh, this elastic collisions is in fact known as perfectly. Uh, this elastic collision in fact is perfectly elastic collision okay uh, however in elastic collision let's look back look to this uh, this one Ela in elastic collision we have perfectly in elastic collision we also have in elastic collisions ah okay so for in elastic collision we have perfect in elastic or just in elastic uh, so this one has two uh, in elastic collision we have two we have perfectly Plus, just inelastic. Ah, uh, we have perfectly inelastic. We have perfectly inelastic, and we also have just inelastic. Ah, uh, but just not perfect. Ah, uh, this inelastic just not perfect. Ah, uh, this one is perfectly inelastic. Ah, uh, uh, plus inelastic. So e e elastic only has one perfectly elastic collision. There's no, there's no such thing like just elastic collision. Is only perfectly elastic collision. Uh, if not perfectly, if not perfectly elastic collision, then it must be inelastic collision or perfectly inelastic collision. Okay, so elastic collision ha only has one perfectly elastic collision. Inelastic collision has two perfectly inelastic or inelastic. Okay, okay. Look back. Look to this one. Yeah. So elastic only has one. Inelastic has two. Remember that, okay? So now, look at what is actually perfectly elastic collision. Okay, here I want to introduce to you one new term called coefficient of restitution. Coefficient of restitution actually is not in your syllabus, uh, but, uh, but maybe later on it will be in your syllabus yeah, for late, later years maybe. Yeah? Uh, but I just want to introduce to you what is actually coefficient of restitution because this value will show uh, whether the collision is which type, whether it's perfectly inelastic collision or inelastic collision or is it perfectly elastic collision. Okay, Coefficient of restitution has a symbol E or if you look at the Wikipedia uh, or you can say coefficient of restitution COR, uh, C -O -R, also denoted by E. This E value has a value between 0 to 1 uh, 0 to 1 where where, uh, where the 0 0 is uh, perfectly inelastic uh, whereas the, the other end the other extreme end uh, uh, e equal to 1 this one is perfectly elastic okay so the value in between value in between 0 and 1 is just elastic collision uh, sorry it's just inelastic collision okay uh, so e has a value between 0 and 1 okay so uh, how to get this value coefficient of restitution uh, in fact uh, uh, it is the relative velocity after collision yeah, that means uh, the v2 minus v1 yeah, v2 minus v1 uh, divide by u2 minus u1 which is the relative velocity before collision relative velocity after collision yeah, means the difference in the velocity uh, between the two balls after collision divided by the relative velocity before collisions. Okay, uh, so uh, this one is just extra knowledge. Yeah, uh, extra, it's just extra knowledge. Uh, so, 
uh okay now yeah i just i just want to share to you how how actually we can calculate the value of coefficient of restitution but it's not in our syllabus yeah it's not in our syllabus uh just for general knowledge okay uh this is how we calculate so now uh so e has a value between zero to one yeah now let's talk about elastic collision elastic collision maybe i can write over here uh yeah elastic collision yeah uh, maybe i can write over here uh this one is um uh yeah uh, maybe this one i can write over here this one has e equal to one uh elastic collision is e equal to one in elastic collision is from from uh, zero to uh less than one uh yeah that's it yeah from zero to less than one okay now um go back to this one okay what is actually perfectly elastic collision uh, why we say that why do we say that uh oh uh the total why do we say that the total initial kinetic energy is equal to the total final kinetic energy why initially have 100 joule of kinetic energy after collision after collision still maintain still maintain 100 joule of kinetic energy why ah this example what kind of collision what kind of collision can maintain the kinetic energy no loss of kinetic energy okay like the kinetic energy never change to another form never change to energy another form it just maintain as kinetic energy ah it is the collision between molecules or atoms ah you see or collision between the gas particles between the gas particles ah you know that uh around us have a lot of air yeah a lot of air particles they always collide with each other and also collide with your um your your, your body okay but do we hear any pop 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 pop, pop sound do we hear any uh, sound of collision no uh, for air particles the collision between air particles no sound we don't hear any sound at all yeah they collide and they leave each other they rebound they always always rebound with no kinetic energy loss uh, now can you see why uh, the kinetic energy always maintain constant uh, why the ki total kinetic energy is uh, why the total kinetic energy before collision and after collision is the same cons conserve 100 joule conserve to 100 joule because the kinetic energy did not change to another form like sound energy so that's why for collision between air particles or molecules or between atoms we don't hear any sound of collision because the kin they are kinetic energy they have kinetic energy you understand they have kinetic energy this one has v1 this one has v2 they have kinetic energy but their kinetic energy maintained as kinetic energy uh, they do not change to sound energy that's why we don't hear any sound of collision they just bang and then leave this collision with no sound uh, that's why they rebound with no kinetic energy loss uh, so this type of collision no sound collision is perfectly elastic collision this one only happens perfectly elastic collision only happens between molecules and atoms collision between molecules and atoms okay so all other all other type of collision that we see with our own eyes yeah they are inelastic collisions uh, some of it is inelastic collision some of it is inelastic perfectly inelastic collisions okay uh, so uh, look at the billiard ball okay uh, look at this inelastic collisions for example like the collision between the snooker ball or billiard balls okay you see these two billiard balls after they collide they also uh, they also is it pow huh you hear sound uh, but the collision between uh, atoms or molecules no pow uh, no sound but uh, for for snooker ball when they bang each other you surely hear a sound you surely hear a sound that means got kinetic energy loss the kinetic energy changed to sound energy ah that means the rebound with some loss of kinetic energy the kinetic energy changed to sound energy ah so although these billiard balls they uh, collide and rebound the rebound doesn't mean that the rebound doesn't mean that this is elastic no yeah it is actually inelastic collision 
Ah, because we hear sound energy. Ah, so this sound energy actually is the energy loss. Ah, this, ah, in fact, this sound energy is the kinetic energy loss. Ah, because the kinetic energy loss it has changed to sound, sound energy. Ah, it changed to sound energy. Yeah, that's why we hear sound. Ah. Some of you uh, have uh, this misconception from high school. Yeah? From high school, oh, you learned that uh, elastic collision. Uh, okay, we, there are these two types of collision. How to differentiate? How to differentiate between these two collision? Elastic and inelastic. Ah, uh, we just say, oh, how to differentiate? Oh, uh, elastic means uh, must be rebound. Yeah, seems uh, logic. Yeah, seems logic because. Elastic what? Elastic means they uh, bounce off each other. Bounce off each other. Is it what you mean? Inelastic means uh, they stick together lah. Uh, because they 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 uh, like plasticine uh, They stick together. Uh, stick together. Again, this is a simpleton mind. Yeah, simpleton. Ah, uh, and this is a misconception. Okay. Ah, uh, inelastic is not always stick together. Stick together is just one, ah, uh, one small part of it. Ah, uh, it's just one small part of it. You cannot just, you cannot say, oh, you cannot say, ah, uh, elastic is rebound. In elastic is stick together. This is what we call misconception. This is wrong. Okay, this is wrong. Ah, uh, this is wrong. This is misconception. Ah, uh, elastic is rebound. In elastic is stick together. Wrong. Yeah. So the real concept is the real concept is let me write it here. Yeah. Maybe let me write it here. The real concept is, uh, stick together is just one, uh, one part, uh, one type of el inelastic. It is only for uh perfectly inelastic collision. Uh, stick together. Inelastic. Some of it also rebound. Uh, some of it also rebound. Uh, but the difference between elastic and inelastic is uh, elastic it rebound with no uh, with no kinetic energy loss. Uh, but this one inelastic uh, rebound or stick together it rebound with Kinetic energy loss. Uh, so how to differentiate? How to differentiate between these two type of collision? How to differentiate between this elastic and elastic? We don't use rebound and stick together. Wrong. Yeah. Uh, because rebound can be also inelastic. We don't use rebound or stick together. This is what we call the misconception. Uh, how to differentiate between elastic and inelastic? We look at kinetic energy uh, we look at kinetic energy uh, elastic collision has no loss of kinetic energy in elastic collision has loss in kinetic energy that's it i want to say ah uh, okay uh, so like you see this this ball okay this billet ball ah uh, this one also rebound you never see uh, a snooker ball they stick together isn't it they rebound but you in the process of collision you hear sound energy pop uh, that means they got kinetic energy loss they rebound with kinetic energy loss uh, loss as sound energy ah uh, okay so rebound with kinetic energy loss there's uh, the value of coefficient of restitution is between 0 to 1 uh, in elastic collision what is a uh, perfectly inelastic collision? Perfectly inelastic collision has the uh, coefficient of restitution e equal to zero. Uh, it means like let's say you have two cars. Let's say the red car bang with the the green car, and then this this green car uh, will you know after after banging the green car, it go to the top. <laughs> it go to the top of the uh, the red car. Uh, no, the, uh, yeah, the red car, and then they move together. Uh, they travel together. This is what we call stick together. Uh, this is perfectly in elastic collision. They stick together. They move together. They share the common, you can say, they share the common uh, velocity, uh, common velocity V. Uh, so if we, 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 do, we do the conservation of momentum, we, do, we write at this. M1 U1 plus M2 U2 equal to 
M1 plus M2 V. Uh, they have the same common velocity. Uh, they have same same common velocity. Okay, they stick together. Uh, so uh, this one also has kinetic energy loss. In fact, this one has the maximum loss of kinetic energy. Compare this perfectly. Uh, yeah. In fact, you look at the uh, this one. Okay. Perfectly, perfectly in elastic collision has the most loss of kinetic energy. The most, most loss of kinetic energy than the, the normal in elastic collision. Normal in elastic collision lost less kinetic energy. But the perfectly in elastic collision lost the most kinetic energy. Uh, okay, but for perfectly elastic collision, do not lose any kinetic energy at all. Okay, uh, remember, uh, so perf uh, perfectly elastic is rebound with no sound, rebound, rebound with no loss of kinetic energy. In elastic collisions, uh, is rebound with kinetic energy loss, rebound with sound energy. But perfectly in elastic collision is they do not rebound. Uh, this one, they do not rebound, they uh, stick together with most loss of kinetic energy. Okay. Uh, so you can you see the difference between elastic and inelastic? Elastic, elastic. Again, I want to uh, emphasize again. Elastic is elastic. No kinetic energy loss. Okay, uh, but for inelastic, got kinetic energy loss. Uh, elastic, no kinetic energy loss. Inelastic got kinetic energy loss ah so the kinetic energy differentiate between e elastic and inelastic you cannot use rebound uh, because uh, elastic is always rebound yeah? elastic never stick together elastic never stick together but inelastic sometimes rebound sometimes stick together uh, stick together is the one for perfectly inelastic collision like this one okay after this, I have one video to show you more clearly what's the difference between perfectly inelastic collision, inelastic collision, and perfectly elastic collision. Okay, let's watch your video.